Welcome back to Ansible's everyone, so I'm going to go with you guys in the S&P 500 again, this is the SPY. But before I jump into that, I wanted to mention that Fed Waller and Fed Buller both bullish on a 75 point base rate hike. This is after Fed Bostic yesterday mentioning that 100 point basis is on the table. So we have two Feds coming out today mentioning that 75 point basis is more likely what they would vote for versus 100 point basis that Fed Bostic mentioned that is on the table yesterday. So we're going to see exactly if we do continue on with that relief bounce that we had today from a possible expected 100 point base rate hike after Fed Bostic mentioned that yesterday. So I'm going to jump into the daily chart with you guys here. Now, before I jump into this, all I ask in return is you smash that like button. And if you do not want to miss any of our market updates or our potential breakouts that we mentioned throughout the week, hit subscribe. And if you guys are day traders or you guys are looking for intraday perspective breakouts all throughout the week, go to instables.com in the description below. And only for $15 a month, you guys will never miss a break alert the day again. So let's jump into this one. So jumping into the daily chart again, getting all of that Fed drama out of the way, just wanted to mention again two Feds today mentioning that 75 point basis is more likely than not. And then yesterday, Fed Bostic mentioning that 100 point basis is on the table. So we have a lot of back and forth on a 75 point base rate hike versus a full 100 point base rate hike. Again, if we do have a decrease in rate hikes or we do have a decline in fear to the downside, then the market is on watch for a possible bounce. And again, we have been getting a lot of pressure to the downside because as you guys can see here on the dollar, we have been continuing on past with this ascending wedge that we have been talking about. Again, we did mention previously that we were respecting our 20 day average and that we did have an ascending wedge, that most ascending wedges do result in continuing on higher. And sure enough, we did have a continuation on higher here on the dollar. So we have been getting a lot of pressure to the downside, but even though the dollar has been continuing on higher, we have not been continuing on lower here on the spy. So I'm gonna go over exactly what kind of pressure we have, what exactly would we looking for to have a bounce back. But if we did continue on lower, what exact level are we looking to see if we can bounce off of? As you guys can see here on our MACD, again this is our buy pressure as you guys can see we have been continuing with a decrease in buy pressure to the upside we have been getting a continuation on these white sheet lines that we have been mentioning since monday leading into cpi on wednesday so we have been getting that continuation on that decrease in momentum especially after yesterday's cpi increase and then now we have our email line that is curling over here we're looking to see if we are going to cross down cross below our email line if we do cross down here with our email lines here then we will have a continuation on lower in the market in my opinion so we will be watching out for this to see if we do cross down here if we do get an increase in buy pressure in result to these white sheet of lines that we have been getting to the downside here so again we are looking to see if we are going to shift momentum completely over to the sell side or if we are going to curl up here and start to continue on higher on a rally but again overall looking to see if we can continue on above our buy pressure point here to see if we do increase in momentum and then looking to see if we do get our email lines to cross up here to continue on above the median of macd to continue on with that strength to the upside to get that continuation on higher and jumping into our relative strength again after we got our relief bounce today our question was are we going to continue on into lower lows here and as you guys can see we are testing our lows that we had previously if we do continue on with lower lows here then we could assume that we would be possibly testing our oversold area here so we are going to be careful we are going to see if we do continue on into lower lows here if we do then we could have a possible pullback in the market um, but as far as continuation on higher we are looking to see if we can break above the previous level that we had when we did get that rejection to the upside when we did break above the median of our rsi here so we'll see if we do again continue on above the level that we had on that rejection or if we do continue on lower here to see if we do get that possible momentum to get that oversold level that we have here so again that's exactly what we'll be looking for and from here we would be looking to see if we do get triple divergence again higher lows upon higher lows upon higher lows and then breaking out of oversold here and then breaking back into play is exactly what we'd be looking for if we do continue on lower and we do look for those possible bullish divergence to get that reversal back in the market so that's exactly what we'll be looking for if we do continue on lower and again looking for that confirmation if we do continue on higher on that strength and to recap on our Bollinger Bands again representing compression and decompression as you guys can see we are trading sideways with the upper end of our Bollinger Band and the lower end of our Bollinger Band we are not decompressing to the upside or the downside yet so we are not overloaded to the downside quite yet However, we are dropping below our 20 day moving average. We did want to see if we can bounce back over it. But again, we did get our body of our candle falling into our 20 day moving average yesterday. So that did show us the momentum to the downside. And we did continue on lower. So now our question is, are we going to continue on into the lower end of our deviation here? Because if we do, then we could have that continuation like we did previously when we did drop into the lower end of our deviation. Again, dropping into the lower end of our second deviation here shows us a lot of strength to the downside. So again, just
just very much looking to see if we are going to squeeze to the upside or the downside here since we are very much within squeeze territory and lastly recapping on our vpvr as you guys can see we have a very key level that we did mention yesterday at 375 that if we did continue on below then we could have a possible continuation on lower and sure enough going to today we did drop down below 375 we did continue on below that and so now our question is are we going to continue on above it since we did bounce back above it after fed waller and fed buller both mentioned that the market may be ahead of themselves by assuming that we could have a possible 100 point base rate hike so we are going to see if we do continue on with this momentum to the upside that we had on this bounce today or if we are going to continue on below today's lows at 370 and then our lows of the year that we have here at 362 and as far as that overall push to the downside looking to see if we are going to drop into the lower end of our deviation with the body of our candle like we had previously and then a lot of people after this pullback will be looking for a bounce and the reason why i say that is because again this will be pre-pandemic levels a lot of people will call for the bottom at this point so again we will keep an eye for confirmation for now we just want to see if we can jump back over our 20 moving average to see if we can start to respect it to see if we can cross our 20 back over our 50 for that possible continuation on higher or even for just the possible bounce that's exactly what we'd be looking for for now we are dropping below our 20 we are going to stay cautious continue to take what the market gives us again a very nice breakout in the intervals today with goev if you guys did see that today from 411 in pre-market mentioned if we break above pre-market highs at 411 on the day then we would continue on higher and sure enough we did we broke over 411 midday broke all the way up to five dollars again our previous rejection that we had from two days ago after breaking out from pre-market news as well and we got that same rejection at five dollars so again a very nice breakout from 411 to five dollars if you do want to see all of these breakouts that we mentioned every single day in the instables room go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again and all of you instables that come over every single day and support the channel again just staying patient take it with the market gives us again we have two levels here we have our 370 level that we dropped down to today we did bounce off of and then we have our 412 level that we ultimately want to get above again our strongest point here on our vpvr that we have been looking to see if we can get back up from and just take it with the market gives us again like we had here with goev as you guys can see from pre-market at 411 we did break above it we did continue on higher we did not alert this one when we had this spike initially we alerted this when we did have our strength and we did continue on higher here and again breaking into our second deviation here with the body of our candle as you guys can see we did not break above into the upper end of our deviation here with the body of our candle but then when we did we did continue on higher so again this is a very good example here on the five minute chart how to use bollinger bands here and again just continuing to take what the market gives us and again if you guys do like this video it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and again god bless you all and i'll see you guys in pre-market